These perturbations are needed to determine the state variables and the control variable perturbations. And they're related via what we call stability and control derivatives. So for the forces, we could write the delta Cx, delta Cy, delta Cz is Cxu0, Czu0, Cy beta 0, C X alpha zero C Z alpha and delta U bar delta beta delta alpha plus contribution from the angular velocities and be zero C Y T zero Cx q zero c z q zero c y r zero times delta c bar delta q bar delta r bar and then there'll finally be the control contribution the c x delta thrust zero 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 C Z delta flat delta delta thrust delta delta flat where for example CXU is defined to be partial derivative of CX with respect to U bar and similarly for all the other terms. For the moments, we can write down something similar. Delta CL, Delta CM, Delta CN will be zero CM u zero c l beta zero c n beta zero c m alpha zero times delta u bar delta beta delta alpha plus c l p zero c n p zero c m q zero c l r zero c n r times delta p bar delta q bar delta r bar plus again a control portion c l c a zero zero for ailerons zero C M C E for the elevator zero zero C M C R for the rudder delta delta A delta delta E delta delta R. So in all of these matrices the zero elements assume a symmetric aircraft in a symmetric sim state symmetric trim state. An asymmetric trim state, for example if the side slip were non-zero, would have all elements of the matrix be non-zero. So it's now possible to conveniently express the force and moment perturbations in terms of the perturbations in force and moment coefficients as well as the perturbations in dynamic pressure. So for example, for the X-force perturbation, this is going to be the change in Q, S, C, X, where S doesn't change. So this is S times Q times delta C, X, which is C, X, U, delta U, 
far plus cx alpha delta alpha plus cx cube delta q bar plus cx delta t delta delta t. And this just comes from the matrices that we developed on this page and the previous one. Plus s cx at the trim state times delta q, but we wrote a minute ago that this is just, and we're going to drop the, uh, this is just 2q delta u bar, where we've dropped the subscript naught on q, because the only uh, type of dynamic pressure that appears is the trim state dynamic pressure. Now, cxu is related to the lift and drag coefficients, and we'll see how later today. Um, or possibly next time. And we would not expect CL or CD to change appreciably for small angles in U. Right? So I can say CXU related to CL and CD. And these not changing for delta u bar much, much less than 1. So we can then write, we basically drop this term and say that delta x is approximately q s 2 cx naught delta u, bringing in the second term plus cx alpha delta alpha plus cx q delta q bar plus cx delta t delta delta t. Now, using the same approach, we can obtain the y and z forces. This is delta q s c y, and this is <coughs> q s c y beta delta beta plus c y p delta p bar plus c y r delta r bar. Uh, because c y naught is zero since our trim state assumes no side slip. And then similarly delta z, which is delta q s c z, it will be approximately q s two c z naught delta u bar plus c z alpha delta alpha plus c z q delta q bar plus c z delta f delta f delta delta f plus one term that didn't appear in those matrices that's included here for completeness c z delta e delta delta elevator Now, for moment perturbations, CL naught equals CN naught equals zero for the trim state. So delta L, which is delta QSD CL, will be approximately given by Q. S B C L beta delta beta plus C L P delta P plus C L R delta R bar 
plus C L B A delta delta A and delta N which is delta Q S B C N will be approximately given by Q S B C N beta delta beta plus C N P delta P bar plus C N R delta R bar plus C N delta R delta delta R. Now notice I've put in the X and Z moments and temporarily skipped over the Y moment. And that's because uh, the Y moment CM, uh, Y moment coefficient CM, should not appreciably change for small changes in delta U, similarly to CX and CZ. So we would expect C and U to be approximately zero, so that then delta M, which is delta Q S C C M, will be approximately given by Q S C two C M not delta U bar plus C M alpha delta alpha plus C M Q delta Q bar plus C M delta E delta delta E. So now we have our force and moment perturbations all expressed in terms of our dimensionless coefficients and dimensionless versions of the perturbations themselves.